Excuse me, may I sit with you? Oh, thank you. Oh, you've got great taste. That's my favorite as well. Oh, what a beautiful name. I'm known as the shark around this area. <laughs> that got your attention, doesn't it? Now, if you value your life, you'll play along and listen to what I have to say. Got it? Good. I'll hate to ruin a cutie like you. Now, let's get down to business. I knew you were going to say that. You don't have my money. Let me guess. Next you'll say you'll have it soon, right? You better consider yourself lucky. If it wasn't for me, they would have found you in some back alley weeks ago. Oh, don't try being funny. You're sneaky, but you didn't avoid my watchful gaze for a second. What did I just say? Don't give me excuses. Don't try to be funny. Don't give me any of that shit. You're just some punk while I'm the one holding all the cards. And you'll find that they'll be quite painful if I chose to play any of them. Now, for weeks, I've been denying my goons the satisfaction of cutting you into pieces. I wanted to watch over you myself before I would handle it personally. Oh, you should feel honored. I don't usually handle my targets personally, and when I do, it certainly isn't casually. If you want to complain about the gun under the table, then maybe you'll find a few razors down your throat more pleasant. <laughs> Thought so. Now, tell me about yourself. Of course, I already know so much about you. You've been under my gaze for a while now, remember? Yes, but I want to hear it from you. So... Tell me about yourself. See? That, for example, is something I didn't know. A writer, hmm? Maybe I'll have to read some of your work. Oh, I'm quite the avid reader. When you have as a competent a secretary and assistant as me, you'll find that everything runs quite smoothly, leaving me with plenty of time to indulge myself. Hmm, well, such a job would demand quite a lot of patience. Something that I certainly appreciate. Oh, I know her. Yeah, my goons just took care of her last week. She thought doing business with a rival was a good idea. Oh, don't look at me like that. Remember who you're talking to? <laughs> Don't try to turn this around. I'm the one asking the questions here. Now what I would like to know is, why did you choose to go to me, or rather one of my goons that is, to get money? You're not exactly a lawbreaker. Something like this is very out of character for someone like you. Hmm, I see. Well, I suppose I can't blame you. I know what it's like wanting more, being surrounded by people who seem to have everything you want. I'm not calling you greedy. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself to something nice. I've made business with so many people over the years. If you really were the greedy type, then I could have smelled it a mile away, and we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Why am I casually chatting with you? <laughs> Let me answer that right now. Come along. I want to be over at your place before it's dark. What for? Well, spending time with you has proven my feelings right, so I want to spend some more personal time with you. Oh, don't think about it too hard, cutie. Once we're there, you'll just have to use your body. And I'll be sure to forget your little debt. <laughs> 